What's going on everybody? It's Game Unboxing Reviews here and welcome to a Watch Dogs 2 tutorial video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how you can unlock the Shuffler outfit. Now you're probably thinking, oh cool another outfit in Watch Dogs 2. This is way more than an outfit and it is very cool but it's quite difficult to unlock so I'm going to basically explain the best way on how you can unlock this awesome outfit as well as a very cool bonus. So without further ado, let's get to it. Alright, so first up you're going to need to go to Bayview Rise and you can see where that is on the map right now. So basically just follow where I'm going and you should see a box car. Now from there what you want to do is you want to use the net hack ability and when using that ability you should see a symbol inside the box car. Now from there just turn off the net hack ability and use Marcus's camera and basically take a picture. I don't think it matters if it's a selfie or a normal picture. Just take the picture and then an audio uh, log should play and it's pretty Pretty creepy but after that you'll hear Josh and T-Bone and Marcus talking about you know what they just heard and it's pretty interesting now that is one of four in total graffiti marks that you need to find in the game but I'll be showing those in a second as well but for now just listen to this really cool dialogue between Marcus T-Bone and Josh my own eardrums but the noise kept getting louder and louder the, the, the guys Convince me to come back out here. Maybe it's crazy, but I need to find out what is in my head. Whoa, this is Shuffler territory? Ray, you ever hear of any symbols associated with the Shuffler legend? Yeah. Weird patterns. Alien geometry. Grids and webs that don't make any sense. Yep, we definitely have some of that here. What's a shuffler? Urban legend. A creepy one. Story goes, if you try to make sense of it, you'll lose your damn mind. Might end up in an asylum just drawing that shit up on the walls with no idea why or what it even is. Hmm, man. It was there once, and it was trippy. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Looking through the DeadSec channel. Other people are finding these, too. Let me just compare yours with the others. Okay. It's a hoax. What? Why? It looks like an alphabet number swap. Too easy. And maybe they wanted the message to be clear. So why not just write it in English? Could be about getting you to just read the symbols. Maybe that's how they get into your head and drive you insane. Not funny. See if you can find some more and I can complete the alphabet cipher. Count on it. I'm gonna go find them. Good. Just keep an eye out for shufflers. So next up, what you want to do is you want to travel to North Oakland. Now, in North Oakland, there should be a shack. Now, you'll see that that shack actually has a fence behind it. What you're going to need to do there is blow it up. And basically, once you've done that, you should see the other symbol with, of course, your net hack ability. Remember to always look at it with your net hack because that's going to be important later on. So once you've done that, you, of course, need to take a picture again. And once you've done that, you will unlock another audio log. So you'll get another creepy little message. And then, of course, Josh and T. T-Bone and Marcus will have another conversation, which is pretty cool. Guys, I found another symbol. This is so fucking weird <laughs> and amazing. Where did the Shuffler story come from? Old Bay Area legend about this creature that kind of lives between worlds. In the cracks. Sometimes you can hear it shuffling inside the walls or maybe on the other side of a fence. The way my dad told it, the thing really likes trains too. You know, back in the glory days of the railroad, one car hopper had to stay awake while the other slept. 
listening for that shuffling noise. A lot of disappearances back then. Right on those tracks. Well, I mean, the equipment has been replaced over the past century. But they say bloodstained wood softens. It'll never support a rail as well as it did before. Mm, stop. Stop. Any luck on the decoding, Josh? I've got about one third of it. I'll need some more samples. Okay. So next up, you're of course going to want to need to go to where I go on the map right here. Now, from here, you'll see that I actually enter a train track tunnel. Now, once you're inside the train track tunnel, make sure to activate NetHack. Now, the great thing about NetHack is that, yes, you will see the symbols on the wall and things like that, which you'll see soon. But another great thing is you'll also hear some weird noises. Now, when you hear those weird noises, it means you're closer to the symbol. Now, once you've found the symbol, you, of course, need to use your camera, take the picture, and you'll get yet Yet another audio log. Sending another shuffler symbol your way. I hope we're getting close. You guys are kidding, right? There's no such thing as a shuffler. Probably not, but there have been a few hundred disappearances linked to it. Some kids came out here to film a shuffler documentary. All they found were four weird little audio tapes. What was on them? Nobody knows. Police have kept the shuffler tapes locked up. Of course, they deny any tapes exist. They exist. I've heard some of them, but I don't have the set yet. You're just messing with us. Nope. They are real, and goddamn are they creepy. Either these kids are running a brilliant hoax, or something really bad happened to them. Okay. I'm going back to coding now. Now for the fourth and final graffiti mark, what you're going to need to do is you want to need to visit this location right here. Now if you follow where I'm going, you should end up at the cemetery. Now in the cemetery, there are a lot of headstones, but on one of them, there should be a symbol. Now remember to use your net hack here. And once you've found that symbol, remember to take the picture and you'll unlock yet another audio log. Ray, I found the shuffler tapes. What? Oh, you kidding me? Nope. Some weird ass shit on these. I don't want to freak anybody out, but I just heard something that sounded a lot like shuffling. No, 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 I can't hear you. No, 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 no. You guys seriously don't hear that? It's so loud. Back in the 60s, the government was experimenting with mass hysteria. Turns out certain concepts, certain words spread faster than others. Mm. And they thought they could induce Paranoia. Suicidal thoughts. In the enemy's ranks. And reality TV was born. <sighs> you guys suck. What now? I think I've got the cipher done, but... Where's the message? I feel like we're missing a piece of the puzzle. There's gotta be something out there.
All right, so here's when it gets very confusing, so listen carefully. So what you're going to need to do now is go back to the hacker space, which is right here. And on Josh's wall, you'll see right here, there's this piece of paper. Now what I'll do is, I've actually taken a picture of it just because the camera's pretty shaky. But you can see right here, this is very confusing, so I'll do my best to explain it. So you've got letters and you've got numbers. Now each of the symbols below them in red, those represent that letter or number. So when you went through and took pictures of all the different graffiti marks, you will have seen one of these symbols before taking the picture. So for me, at the boxcar, I got number two at the bottom, which you can see is like this weird, you know, it basically looks like Harry Potter's scar. <laughs> then for the shed, I got number three. For the track tunnel, I got number one. And for the cemetery, I got number six. Now, when you put all of these together in that order that I just said, you will have 2316. Now that is of course 16 minutes past 11, so that's a time. Now I believe this time and these numbers will be different for everyone. So I'm saying this now basically to explain how you do this, how you work out you know, what your time is going to be, but for me it was 23.16, so it's 16 minutes past 11. Again, it might not be the same for you, it could be, I'm not really sure, but from what I've seen, everyone else's has been different. And last but most certainly not least, the final thing that you need to do is of course visit this location right here. So you need to visit this location at a specific time, the time that you got when you combined all of those you know, symbols and everything in the specific order. So the specific order is of course boxcar, which is can, then you've got the uh, shed, which is anyone, train track tunnel is here, and gravestone is me. So can anyone hear me? So once you've done that in that order and you've got your time which mine was of course 16 minutes past 11 go to this location and basically wait until that time you have to wait until that time and you should eventually once you get to that time hear some weird noises and I kind of freaked out and took pictures everywhere but the thing is you have to be facing the other wall I was facing the wrong wall and once you've done that you just go up to it press the button and it will uh, basically start a really weird and creepy but awesome cutscene Am I hearing things? No, it wasn't real. It couldn't be. Marcus, did you find anything? No, nothing. So it was all a hoax? Yeah, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's a shame, but I'm glad it's not real. Yeah, yeah. And there you have it, you now have the Shuffler outfit unlocked. Now, like I said at the very beginning of the video, this isn't just an outfit. Oh no, this gives Marcus special powers. Now, if you've ever wanted to see Marcus, you know, pulling off some crazy, infamous, like, superpower moves, you can now do that, which is really cool. Now, I think it is limited, you can do it as many times as you want, but what I mean by limited is, I, I don't think it actually works on every character. For me, so far, it only seems to work on the gang members, but it's still very cool. 
cool. I mean, sneaking about and using your powers, actually going through and just using your powers and taking out a whole gang territory with just that alone, that is very, very fun. So what I'll do now is I'll basically leave you with this video of me just running around taking out these bad guys with nothing but these awesome powers. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more videos real soon. And as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I will fucking own you. Clear. Keep looking. Guard!